I want to give an update on these Barbados cherry tree cuttings that Rose5150 sent me. I am a complete novice, but there's a technique that I watched on Lead Farmer 73's channel that he attributes to Rose5150. And um, I can tell you that it works, even for someone who is very, very green at this particular technique. And basically, what you do is you have a uh, mixture of coconut core and perlite. Now the ratio I believe was three to one. So three parts coconut core hydrated and one part perlite. And then you put it, you put that mixture, once it's hydrated, you put that mixture in a clear cup because if you're like me, you're going to keep pulling um, the cutting to try to check on the progress. So you put it in this clear cup and then once it roots you'll be able to see the roots. And then there's a slit that you put at the bottom of this cup here so that um, your plant, your cutting won't drown. The water will drain out. And then for the exterior cup to catch the liquid you can use, um, I use this um, styrofoam cup but you could use a, a uh, solo cup like lead farmer 73 use and but take a look at this she sent me three cuttings and I don't know why but one of them did not root so I think that it's a good practice if you're getting a cutting from someone you know a neighbor a friend and um, you know I they're obviously in the same container they were all had the same condition so there is no rhyme or reason as to why that particular one didn't um, didn't root but it's been about, oh goodness, I'll have to look at the exact time, how long it's taken for this to root. But the length of the rooting is going to depend upon whether or not it's something woody like this or if it's more of a soft uh, stem like a basil. But generally the harder uh, this uh, exterior portion is, the longer it's going to take to root. But uh, in general, within eight weeks, you should see some rooting or evidence that this cutting is alive and that's what you see here bring it down a little bit so you can see the um, stems that are popping out of this thing but I'm so looking forward to seeing the roots I don't see any yet but it is obviously alive and the rooting for these two uh, cuttings has succeeded so I want to thank you Rose so very much Here's the camellia. It's looking so beautiful, so healthy. I am, for now, I'm gonna keep it in this pot uh, because I am doing so much work in this yard. Um, I'm not quite sure where everything is gonna go. So I don't wanna put it in a location and then have to remove it. But you can see that these leaves here are getting ready to unfurl. And this plant is just going to it's just going to be so beautiful. It already is, and I'm so thankful that you shared it with me. And I um, just want to show you real quick. This is my, I believe it's Arapaho. Yeah, I believe that's Arapaho. i got to look it up. I'll put the, um, the name of it. But this is a thornless blackberry, an erect one, um, that I picked up at Lowe's. I was planning on picking up some more, uh, but they announced our stay at home. So it's going to be not impossible but it's just going to be a little bit more challenging to pick up some plants at this point and this is a work in progress this is my strawberry bed that I'm going to completely uh, change these are just some sedums in a pot and I got to figure out what I'm going to do with these uh, but they would make wonderful ground cover um, to uh, insulate and to keep some moisture in so I got to figure out how I'm going to use those but again Rose I want to thank you for gifting me those wonderful plants and just wanted to show you how well they're doing. Have a great day.